Hey everybody, I am responding today to the lessons for Thursday, April 2nd. Um, and those readings brought to my attention confusion and understanding. As I believe we all are right now, my thoughts are turning very frequently to our current crisis. And my question is pretty basic. What is our life going to be like when this is all finally over? And as I read and reread these lessons, I was mostly struck by the need and importance of remembering to look at the big picture. Abram was struck by awe. And the Jews in the gospel story were struck by confusion, by fear, I think, definitely anger. And when we are struck by strong emotions like that, our brains do not look at the big picture well. Because in times of crisis like that, a lot of times our very survival depends on becoming laser focused on the problem at hand. Um, but sometimes what we really need is not to be focusing on our survival, but on our overall big picture and our health. So what if we take a step back or kneel or prostrate ourselves and look at the big picture such that God loved Abram so much that he chose him to found a dynasty. Or that Jesus' words were confusing, but his meaning was not. And that in the midst of crisis, God and love are with us. What if we widen our lens and see the love around us? Can we reread the gospel and notice that word rejoice? I know this crisis doesn't make any sense. We don't know why this is happening. Um, but what we can understand, what I can understand, is what I can do in response. And that is to remember not to get mired in the details I don't understand, but to look at the big picture and to remember that I want to focus on thinking about others with kindness and compassion and not judgment. Have a great day.